What is a UFO? Well, you probably already know that the letters stand for Unidentified Flying Object. And a UFO is just that. It's something seen in the sky that can't be identified for sure. For example, here's a strange saucer-shaped light that was seen over Sydney some years ago. Nobody quite knew what it was. And of course, when things like that are seen in the sky, it immediately raises the question, could there be a planet out there somewhere in the universe with life as we know it on Earth, or some other form of life? Could those UFOs be spaceships coming from other parts of the universe with strange creatures aboard? Nobody quite knows the answer to that question. What we do know, though, is that some of the UFOs turn out to be MFOs, misidentified or wrongly identified flying objects. For example, some years ago, these strange objects were seen over a city in Brazil. They turned out to be unusual cloud formations. Also, there have been other strange objects moving across the night sky, such as these in Texas, which turned out to be not spaceships, but flocks of birds flying across the night sky. But the UFOs can't always be identified. For example, in New Zealand, many people saw this strange thing in the sky. It was described as a huge ping pong ball with a faint red glow coming from the center. And in Australia recently, a lot of people have seen UFOs which have turned out to be these weather balloons. As weather balloons go up into the sky, they get larger and larger, and sometimes they'll reflect light in unusual ways back to Earth, particularly at night, and they are described as UFOs. Well, it's possible, if you want to, to make pictures of UFOs yourself. We've shown you ways to take trick photographs before. Do you remember how you can photograph a person walking up a wall? This is another method of trick photography. Have a look at this picture which I took of a strange UFO flying over the neighbor's house. Not so strange if I show you the little piece of photograph that I trimmed off. There you can see somebody's hand holding an object above the house. How can you get an object large enough? Well, it doesn't have to be a large object. It can be something quite small, as long as it's nearer the camera. So the first thing you'll need to do is to look around the kitchen and see if you can find a suitable object. And of course, people have described UFOs very often as flying saucers, because the things they've seen have sometimes looked like the underside of a saucer. Well, look for saucepan lids, plates, all sorts of things. I've found that one of the uh, most interesting objects underneath is a little boiled egg cup. Turn it upside down and look at that. It looks remarkably like some of those things that you see in science fiction magazines, doesn't it? And that's in fact the one that I used to take that photograph. Well, you can do it outside with the help of a friend, or you can do it inside with a little set that you build on a table. Have a look at this. I've cut out of cardboard silhouette of a house, used some little pieces of bush or tree to make trees, stuck them down with plasticine, and used a large piece of blue cardboard to represent the sky at the back. Now I'll show you behind it and you'll see some other interesting things. First of all you'll see a lot of masking tape that I've used to hold it in place. You'll also see a lamp. Now if you want it to be a nighttime shot, you can turn out all the other lights in the room, use a skewer to make little holes through the cardboard sky, and use only that lamp so that you get little specks of light coming through, the stars. You'll also see something else, a piece of wire taped to the back of the table and poking through the front of the sky. And you can see that it's a, a bent coat hanger. And it's placed there for a special purpose, to hold our little flying saucer. Look at that, I can hold it in place like that. And if we line our camera up carefully when we take the photograph, we should be able to miss seeing the wire. So we simply get in the right spot, like this, line it up carefully, and take the picture. And if we've lined it up as we hope we have, we should find that we have a picture that looks almost like a UFO flying over somebody's house.